Jeff Gordon. He won this event in 1995 and 1997. Goes for the third time tonight. Jeff Gordon. Those are the in-car cameras. Jeff Gordon on the outside. You're riding with him going into turn three. You can see the two guys fighting in front of him there. Bill Elliott and uh, Terry Labonte side by side. Jeff Gordon right on the back bumper. And the strike, Terry Labonte leading. Boy, he's got him. Here comes Bobby Labonte in fourth place here in the green car. Terry's taking the lead. Here comes Jeff Gordon on the inside as they head down the back straightaway. Jeff Gordon leads at the strike. This year's Winston's going to be a little bit different. It's still two 30-lap segments followed by a 10-lap shootout. But this year, the process for inverting the cars is going to be different. The wheel's going to decide how many are inverted. Our adjustments will still basically remain the same. Wedge in or out for loosening or tightening the car up. We can still use a lot of tape, especially in that last 10-lap segment. But you might not pit in that last 10-lap segment because you lose your track position if you do. Tire pressure, again, going to be very, very critical. We can change the spring rate make the car tighter, looser, or make it drive totally different by changing one or two pounds of air pressure in a tire. Our old friends, the spring rubbers. If your car's not handling, you can stiffen or soften the spring, putting a piece of rubber in it or taking it out. A lot of new paint schemes for the Winston come out. Very exciting. This is one of our older cars, blacker, with a new paint scheme. It's DuPont Chrome Illusion, and it changes colors under the lights. Now, even though it's an old car, it's got a new safety feature. This net was in, invented by Jeff Burton and Bill Simpson. And because of them two, left side driver safety is going to be a lot better this year at the Winston. Ray Evernham and Blacker. Boy, I tell you what, Mark Martin there in third place made a bold move and already up to third. He is the man that everybody says will be the guy to catch tonight. Mark Martin in third place already. And now the green car is in front. Now it's the purple car. <laughs> now it's the gold car in front. And it's every bit this illusory even when you stand in the garage and watch it all change colors. Gordon's pretty awesome too. He's strong, really strong. Jeff Gordon strong in 1995 when he won all three segments of this race led 49 of the 70 laps that night. All right here we go green flag is in the air and the race restarts lap number six. Well Gordon got a jump on that deal didn't he. Sure did. That is what four tenths of a second looks like from the leader Gordon. Jeff Gordon by seven tenths of a second leads Mark Martin. We're riding with Blacker and Jeff Gordon here on TNN Motorsports. 20 laps of 30 complete now in the first segment of the Winston NASCAR's all-star race. The leader Jeff Gordon, Mark Martin the second. If you're looking for uh, Jeff Gordon ahead of these two guys, he's in his own area code. <laughs> I mean, he's already better than two seconds ahead. There he is. And Look. watch how smooth he is on that wheel, buddy. You can see him. He's looking in the mirror right now. He's on cruise control. You can watch when he turns into the corner. Watch his hands how still right here. Top of the wheel, he's going through the center part of the corner. Now watch how smooth when he starts off the corner, he brings his hand back down, down the straightaway, very, very calm. Not a lot of streetcars handle that well. Now there's the spread. There goes Gordon out of your picture. And look way ahead. There's Jeff there's Gordon. Gordon going through the dog leg, down through the front straightaway, heading towards turn one, sweeps out wide, right back down to the bottom lane there. Pretty much he's giving it a little bit of movement as he sinks. Right in the middle part of the corner there, but down the straightaway, this car is hooked up. And of course, the caution now on the speedway. Caution's on the speedway, and uh, this segment is done. Now, buddy, you've been in this in these events. Gordon knows that he's not going to restart in front. He could be inverted back to third. He could be 12th. What do you think? He and Ray Everham right now are open straight in the second segment of this race. Where he starts, as good as that car is, has very little to do with the way he rides. Right now, they're talking about, okay, what do we do to this car to make it better? They're not concerned about where they restart. Now, Jeff Gordon, by virtue of winning that first segment, has just now won $50,000. That young man right there is happy. And so is that young man. He's $50,000 richer. For those that just joined this program, do not adjust your set. <laughs> Jeff Gordon's car does change colors as he goes through the lights here. It may look purple, it may look gold, 
It has a green tint to it. You I can kinda see. Like, I like the purplish look, Michelle. I, I like to see what's going to happen with every hot rod in America changing its paint scheme. I'll tell you what, this is something really special. I think you're going to see a lot of cars looking something like this. The DuPont fellows very, very proud. They unveiled that car at Talladega Super Speedway on the Die Hard 500 weekend and showed us all the up-close look. And literally, as you move around the car, uh, it does change colors. You see, now it just went from brown to purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty though. It I really is. Say. It's a neat deal. Well, guys, I'm standing by Jeff Gordon here. We've got the uh, we've got the order as you said. It's uh, they're going to invert four. Jeff, pretty awesome performance there in that first segment, but a little bit of concern. Uh, what's going on under the hood here? Uh, we had a little bit of a miss earlier in uh, the day, and we thought we got rid of it, but it still has a little bit of a miss. I don't think it's anything that's really hurting the performance. It's just there, you know, on your mind. Well, I heard you say uh, on the radio before you came in for this pit stop to leave it like it was. I can't imagine changing much on that race car. I'd hate, to, I'd hate to change anything. Uh, you know, you just never know what, what this next segment, segment's going to be like. Uh, we're going to be in traffic, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit different. I mean, uh, we started fourth in that first segment, so I'm pretty happy about starting fourth, but I got Mark in front of me and Sterling and uh, Bobby beside me. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, I believe. Well, so the rest of the field certainly hopes so, but so far things have gone Jeff Gordon's way. Can you imagine, guys, this car missing and running that well? Jeff Gordon kind of caught in the middle there. You can see him on the outside. We're riding with him going down into turn one. Kind of hung out right now. This is not the preferred line, but he gets a good one. He's a head down towards the back straightaway. Watch Jeff Gordon right now. You see him running along there. He's going with Mark Martin, trying to get by Bobby Labonte down into turn two. This is 24 car of Jeff Gordon. is seriously fast. I'm telling you, that car is a rocket. Front two, meanwhile, have pulled away. Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon by one and four tenths seconds have pulled away from Bobby Labonte. Well, Jeff Gordon showed a lot of muscle before when he was out front, but right now they seem to be holding about the same interval. As you see, Jeff, Jeff Gordon there coming off in second place. Okay, Steve, only right side tires for uh, Jeff Gordon and Bobby Labonte. A wedge adjustment for uh, Bobby Labonte. Gordon beats him out. There's the Rainbow Warriors. Interesting strategy, huh? Yeah. Two tires rather than four. Well, we'll see how good that chassis is and how well Jeff Gordon can hang on to it with those guys behind him with better rubber. Green flag. They're basically two by two. But as they come to the strike, Gordon's got a car lane lead. I saw the flag and shake his head. It was a good start. Jeff Gordon has a good lead. The guys with two tires are running away from him. One lap gone. Nine to go. Mr. Gordon has set sail. Gordon, that last lap, 177 miles an hour, two miles an hour faster than Bobby Labonte in second spot. And the reason we're not showing you Jeff right now is because <laughs> ain't nobody else near him, folks. No, he's this gone. Nobody. Ooh, I'm going to tell you, that's got to be a wonderful feeling to have that much race car. And Jeff Gordon made no mistake about it. When they went back in the high gear, at 24, look at going down the back straightaway. You're riding with the leader of the Weston. Down in the turn three, you can see nothing in front of him but racetrack. He's got one and two tenth seconds on those behind him. Now right, here's why. Look at this. Look at this steering wheel, buddy. Yeah, that's down the straightaway. Now we got to look at him earlier in the race, and his hands are virtually still through the corner. They still look pretty uh -huh. good. I'll take the turn right now. Yeah, Woo. there it is. That'll do it right there. As he wrote material right there. Ray Abraham has to be proud. He's done a wonderful job of setting this car up. And you know what? Every time you come to Charlotte, that 24 is out front. Yep. Only Davey Allison, Dale Earnhardt, and Jeff Gordon have won this event more than once. Earnhardt's won it three times. The late Davey Allison twice. Jeff Gordon twice. May well be thrice. Yeah, here in also, about two and a half minutes time. Yeah, he's also won the Open. Boy, for a kid his age, he sure is rewriting the record book and putting his name all over it. 